What's up everybody and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review as we are two days away from payback. Uh, pretty much kicking off with The Shield. The Shield came out and cut a promo about how they're going to beat Evolution this Sunday. As they pretty much talked about Evolution's going to fall. And it happened last Monday with Kills you can make you stronger. So now they're going to come up full, for, full force at Evolution and make sure they become Extinction then. Which was pretty much everybody got on the mic and talked, which was really good, especially Seth Rollins. It's been weak, weak at talking on the mic, but the Shield pretty much cut a promo for this Sunday. How they're going to beat Evolution, knowing that they're going to win. Kofi Kingston went against Cesaro. Well, Cesaro won with the uppercut. Wasn't much to say about that right there. They got to do better with Kofi. Bad News Barrett was in the back talking about RVD that all he has is that hand gesture. And he talked about his match with Sheamus tonight as is a champion versus champion match. Sheamus versus uh, Wade Barrett, Intercontinental Champion versus United States Champion. They show videos the other night of past champions from Intercontinental like Mr. Perfect and Bret Hart and Honky Tonk Man and um, Triple H from US Champions from John Cena to the Big Show. Sting, which they're not going to sign. Uh, Sting, Eddie Guerrero, a whole bunch of other guys. Um, Paige winning against Tamina as Alicia Fox pretty much came out. Mostly cocky, taking pictures with fans and holding the title up in the air. Stand on top of the announce table, taking pictures of herself with it. Going back to the Rampage one with the Paige Turner. Which I am kind of interested to see this match now this Sunday. I'm glad they've really got doing something with Alicia Fox now. Maybe a little bit kind of silly sometime, but it's actually kind of a good type of gimmick to make, you know, mess with fans and take pictures and mess with them and throw drinks and somewhat beat up little security guys. Since people say she's the new Stone Cold Steve Austin, I like it. Paige pretty much won the match. Sheamus was talking the match about his manager Cesaro this Sunday and the champion versus championship match. Xavier Woods went against Bo Dallas. Bo Dallas, Bo Dallas won. I don't know what to say about this match if he's healing that. He pretty much got up and hugged Woods. So, well, is he supposed to be healing that? But Bo Dallas won the match and saying Bo leave. And I, I don't know. We got to get that some time. El Torito went against Jim Hall. El Torito won. Screw that match. Sheamus went against Wade Barrett as Paul Heyman was on commentary. He pretty much saw he was an advocate and Brock Lesnar in the match this Sunday. And pretty much Sheamus hit a bro kick out of nowhere. Really good match for him and Wade Barrett. Sheamus pretty much kicked the bro kick out of nowhere when in the match. So he pretty much got him with the Paul Heyman. So it was like, we got a kid. He pretty much begged Sheamus not to attack him. And Sheamus just pretty much walked off from there. Um, Big E winning his Titus O'Neil. As pretty much Rusev came out with the. Russian flag waving it. Big E won, and then both big guys just started waving the American flag and the uh, Russian flag from the top of the stage to the ring, which looked <laughs> it looked kind of funny. Two giant guys waving a flag. Um, Jack Swagger went against Adam Rose. Adam Rose won, uh, which is quick. As I don't know why Cole keeps trying to dance to this. I don't know why, but. Adam Rose won the match, so I thought I think I like this match better on NXT Takeover last night than I like with Swagger tonight. Last Man Standing match with Bray Wyatt and Jimmy Uso, which doesn't make a lot of sense if he's doing a Last Man Standing match Sunday. It was an all right match; it was good, but we all knew who was gonna win. He actually think Bray Wyatt would lose a Last Man Standing match on. Tonight on SmackDown, if he has a last man standing match Sunday against John Cena, I, it doesn't make sense. Sorry, match it just didn't really make much sense to do it if he's gonna do the match Sunday. Just sort of, just put him in a regular match against the Jimmy Uso. Don't, we don't need to do a last man standing match just to do it. So, yeah. As for this Sunday for the pay per view. As we go down the card, um, I will be there this Sunday, so I will be giving you somewhat of live reaction videos like last year, which I did. Somehow I'll get it there. I don't know, but I'll get it posted. But just to go down the card, Evolution versus The Shield, Elimination, No Holds Bar match. That would probably be the main event if you ask me.
John Cena versus uh, Bray Wyatt last man standing match. Which Bray Wyatt, I guess he needs to win because he can't go with Cena winning. Biggie versus Rusev, that was last minute attempt. Uh, Paige versus Alicia Fox for the Divas title. Sheamus versus Cesaro for the U.S. title. Bad News Bear versus Rob Van Dam for the Intercontinental title. And you got the whole Daniel Bryan if he'll surrender the title in that. And, um, oh yeah, the pre show, um, El Torito versus Juan Torito and a hair versus mask match. Doesn't make a lot of sense. But that's the card right there. That's my predictions of it. I think, um, could we see a new U.S. champion Sunday? I think maybe, because, like, I don't know why Sheamus is U.S. champion. Yeah, I think we all know Cesaro's going to win. RVD versus Barrett. I would say Barrett needs to win, but then again, RVD could win it. Evolution versus The Shield. I somewhat see a swerve coming, maybe, but I, for some reason, I want to go with Evolution. But then again, it is The Shield. Cena versus Wyatt. <laughs> we got Wyatt needs to win, or Cena may win since it's a the rubber match now. I think Paige will win. Uh, Rusev versus Biggie probably be a good match if it's not a squash match. You got two huge guys going against each other. But hair versus mask match, I don't really care. I really don't care. I wish this feud end already, but um, I'm gonna see you guys later. I'm out of here. I will see you this Sunday at Pay Per View, All State Arena, Chicago, Illinois. It's going down, and you know the town, so you know how I can go. So stay back, and we will see you this Sunday at Payback. So comment, subscribe, and keep watching the show and live reactions reviews coming. I'll see you guys later. I'm out of here. Peace.